Hello and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to take all of these seedlings that I have started in a previous video. If you'd seen it, I had started these using some hemp as the growing medium. As you can see, these have taken off really well. I've got multiple tomato plants here growing and I got a great root system started. We have a prairie pride tomato and a brandy wine. I have a King of the North green pepper. It's got a little bit of a root system going. And I got some more cucumbers going here. These are the Diva variety. I have two of these going good here. Good root system started. So if I've already got my nutrients all mixed up and set up in these crack key containers, and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to move them into their permanent homes and then place them in the grow tent. So if you did see my previous video when I got these all started, one of my uh, kind of new things that I was gonna try to see if I could sprout and grow indoors was a cantaloupe. And so far, I'm not having any luck even getting it to sprout. I'm not sure why. I got three seeds in there. Nothing has germinated. But for today, I'll just, uh, maybe they take a little bit longer, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to leave this under the grow lights once we replant these and just see if my cantaloupe ever does sprout and if not we'll call it a fail and just move on to something else. So as I mentioned I've already set up my nutrients into these containers so I use the three-part system here from General Hydroponics. So based on the basic application table here on the back of the nutrients I am going to set up my nutrients at the general purpose mild vegetative stage which calls for five mils of each of these three parts into one gallon or four liters of water so that's why i always try to use my vinegar jugs here they're a four liter or one gallon size which is perfect for mixing up a good batch i've got everything set up in my favorite crack key containers the folgers containers here and the root systems should reach the water so we should be good to go so I'm going to start off with the pepper here. So you can see the roots on it are still pretty short. They're not going too far. So you want to make sure when you set it up in your system that those roots are going to be able to reach that nutrient water. So I filled this jug of nutrient water up to a fairly high level so that these little roots here will take off. But you also want to keep some air there's lots of air roots that will come out here of your plants and you want to make sure that they continues to have air because that's how they they breathe and live so you have roots that will drink from the nutrient water plus air roots that will just take in oxygen that's the great part about the crack key system it's very simple as long as you have nutrient water for them to get to air um, things seem to grow well in this system i'm also going to top it up with some more of these hydrogen clay pebbles just to help keep it stable. I can see that I can see a little bit of light through the net pot so you want to make sure all the light is blocked out. When it gets in the grow tent there's going to be some intense light there and you don't want to have LJ growing in your water if at all possible. So I'm just going to top this up all around and the green pepper is ready to go in the grow tent. I have these larger size Folgers containers that just are a little bit bigger, hold a little more nutrient water. I'm not sure if it really makes a difference. I've grown tomatoes and cucumbers in both sizes, but as you can see here, these tomatoes have a lot of roots, so they're going to easily reach the nutrient water. And you can see here there's lots of air roots coming out the sides. Now you'll see that I do have three plants going here. So what I'm going to have to do is cut out two and just keep one. For today I'm going to put them in the grow tent and kind of let them get uh, you know, used to that intense light, get used to the nutrients, maybe grow a little bit more, get a little more strength in the roots and then I'll probably just cut out the two smallest ones and just keep the one. Again, I'm just going to top it up with some more clay balls here. Of 
Got it nice and stable. And this is the Brandywine variety. So I'm not sure how big these plants are going to get, but definitely only want one going in here because once these take off and their root system really goes, they suck up a lot of nutrients very fast. And you really have to keep an eye on topping them up every few days. This one here is the Prairie Pride. I got two of them going too, so I will have to eliminate one. This is a bush variety, which I chose specifically because I think it'll do well in a grow tent where it doesn't have a lot of space and won't grow too big. So again, I'm just gonna set it up in the nutrients water for a few days, let it kind of get used to that, and then I will come in and take out one of the plants. <clears throat> Lastly is my Diva Cucumbers. I got two of them going here. This one looks like it's a little bit further advanced than this one, but I will make a decision in a few days as to which one I will cut out. And again, you just want to make sure those roots are reaching that nutrient water. Once those roots get a taste of that nutrient water, they'll really take off and grow into the water even further. So there you go. I have four plants in the crack key system ready to go into the grow tent. This was a super fast way of getting them set up in their permanent homes using this method here where I started the seedlings in the net cups that they are going to be in their whole lifespan right off the get-go rather than starting them in other little containers or seedling trays and then having to transport those little delicate seedlings into a net pot system. I find this was worked really well for me and it's probably the way I'll go. So we'll put these in the grow tent and I'll give you a quick view of my tomato and cucumbers that are growing really well in there right now. Okay, so we have lots of room here in my grow tent. I really need to get growing some more things, fill it up as much as I can for the winter. So we now have three tomatoes, two cucumbers and a green pepper in here. And as you can see, this is my sun gold cherry. I've got a batch of cherries here and starting to see some ripening. So that's exciting. Should be able to enjoy some of them in the next week or two. So my diva cucumber is growing well. It's starting to send out some vines and climbing up this netting that I have in place. Still having an issue with the older leaves drying up and falling off. It doesn't seem to be killing the plant, but I haven't been able to find the answer as to what I can do to remedy the problem or if maybe it isn't even a problem we'll see so i hope you enjoyed today's video on how i planted up my little seedlings here into the cracky method and please stay tuned for updates on how everything's growing in the meantime don't forget to hit the like button subscribe leave me a comment and we will see you on the next video